24 on EA Sports. And our focus uh, is on Amari Cooper. It was a nice line for him a week ago, first. reaching the century mark and scoring a touchdown. It's the Browns and the Ravens, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. Don't you tell me I'm moving on as long as you can. I've been to war, son. I've seen things you can't even imagine. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside M&C Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Today we hit double digits week 10, and we've got a good one in store. And so it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Open the home doors and let her out. Sir, Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Raven team as they I get ready here. Seven years in a they come off a disappointment camp. last time out that put an end to their modest three-game win streak. Meanwhile, for the Browns here, they're in a real groove of late. Winners of five of their last six games. And this coaching staff has to be pleased with how their defense played last week. They held their opponents to three points, and that was it. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Ravens offense set to go to work, and it's Lamar Jackson now in his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. Did you see that last week's performance by him? Working in white contested numbers. One touchdown, one Pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, that's yeah, the something. bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Picked up by Rodney McLeod. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Wow, just one snap here, Carter, and the completion this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. And the Cleveland offense ready to go to work behind the three-time Pro Bowler Deshaun Watson in his second season now as a Brown, number seven overall. And what he's thinking about right now is, first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation, that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, you might catch them having a defensive <laughs> breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really so... Ow, 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 still out. Touchdown on the year. And the Browns are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. Extra point good by Hopkins, and that makes the score 7 nothing. Hey! You better not be pooping on me. This fielded right at the goal line. What's up, little show mom? At the 21 yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Well, they run the option on second down. They're holding it, maybe the wrong decision. As he stepped to the backfield, it'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. You don't think that's a little selfish? From the gun on third down, Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Jackson options out left. Now that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. On second down, a run with Dobbins. 
Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It's a six-yard pickup to get him back to the original line of scrimmage with third down coming up. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Facing fourth down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. Jakeem Grant deep for Cleveland. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys to get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Here now, third and a yard. Watson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And Deshaun Watson, and when you think about the toughest quarterbacks in the league to game plan against, he's got to be in your top five, does he not? And when you talk about game planning, putting him in the top five, that's an easy call because he can make every throw. That's not an issue at all. He has great touch delivering the football, but that mobility, that added dimension, oh, when he escapes the pocket and those receivers find their way open, short, medium, and long, he finds the right guy. And last but not least, his toughness. He can stand in the pocket, take a hit, and deliver. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. You look at this Baltimore defense. Now, they've been a very good unit against the pass, defending a fifth best in the league. Yeah, defending the pass hasn't been an issue for them. It's been stopping the run. And if they don't stop the run, they can't get back to their strength, which is guarding against the air attack. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. A gain of 12. And the Browns work down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Watson. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. So the completion good for six yards. And that will bring up second down. A run for Nick Chubb. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. 3-4 defense, and that old line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way. With a 3-4, you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you don't run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers right now, and that gives the running back a heck of a chance to get into the secondary. Chubb <laughs> will get down close to the goal line, but not in, and this will be marked down at the one. So now it's third and goal. This Raven defense trying to keep him out of the end zone. Now Watson. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Browns have taken a two-touchdown lead now. 
Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Hopkins with the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start out here with the option left. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The Ravens at six and three on the year. And Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but the attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. On third down, Jackson. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's four. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. And the numbers for the last drive, and he was perfect, which maybe isn't surprising because he has not missed a pass in this game yet. And it lets you know just how precise things have to be for a quarterback to be perfect because that means the line's blocking really well. No one's dropping any of the passes thrown to them, and the quarterback is accurate. It's almost like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter or a perfect game. Game, isn't it? He's the principal guy, but he needs a lot of help. Time to find out if he can keep that perfect game going here, partner. To throw is Watson. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before it's taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first and 10, Watson. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. On second down, here's Watson. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts, as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. First down, it's Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that's going to bring up second down. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout, and with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Now second and three. Now it's Watson. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A 
final shot before the break. Watson. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Illegal touching. Offense. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always we'll tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. <laughs> one-sided to this point it's a two touchdown difference here at the break but I wouldn't call this one over just yet I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come all right coach thank you and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three a two touchdown game 14 nothing to score as we get rolling again here in the second half Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. So here are the Browns to take over. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and 10. Watson now to throw. Drops it off for Chubb. So he'll be stopped here for no gain, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The Browns send out their punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Crochet on the return. The 48 yard punt, seven on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on the outside. We forced the punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Tyrus. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Throwing is Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. He's in the space past the 25. And finally taken down at the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Here's Jackson to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play in the football there, and it's second down. We're in Baltimore. Third quarter action, second and ten. Again, Jackson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. 
Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now it's Jackson. Into the middle of the field, he's got a man complete. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And you know, when we talk about game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed, his elusiveness, and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? From the gun, it's Jackson. Now he's got it. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Zay Flowers, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have cut it back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. And this will be a touchback as Grant hops now to return it. But now the Browns coming out on the field. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They run it again with Chubb. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes last week. He ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Oh, the return is Prochet. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, Paul. I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, what's wrong with that guy? But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air, and allows for them to have some success. Right back to Dobbins on first. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Now Jackson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. A nice little juke. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. 62 yards rushing for him now to this point. The Ravens on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and five. Jackson. And a find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 30. Really nice pick up of 14 yards, and it moves the stance. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield, and when they see openings, take their shots. 
Jackson on first down. Yet again, targeting and finding Mark Andrews. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Ten more there and another first down. Jackson throwing once more. Touchdown! Zay Flowers, the second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Tucker now to add the point after. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drives seven plays in length. And this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. The Browns set and ready to go on offense. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. And they'll begin by running the option. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground. And stopped him. So that down for a win in the defense. Trying to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it. As we come on third down. Here's Watson. Appalachian State, the best passing attack in the country will be at the end of the the defense did their job for a quarter, big so, sale. No doubt about it, because the offense has been yelling out from the sideline. Just do us a favor, get Not us the ball back, game, though, give us one this more season. chance to take it so, down. The, right. the defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game. They're not behind. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Jeff the Robert offense for the Ravens returns to the field. So Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity uh, all but, uh, tied in the fourth quarter. The in the this throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. Player John West as well. We've yet to really see him pop off. Jason Brock has carved out a nice little roll in the slot. At tight end, Sonny Jackson West now. is a big-time player. We didn't really see him at all. He gets this underneath he the Dallas. And, and this the won't be enough to pick up the first. Struggles. A gain of two, third and one. Kind of like Colorado. There we go, third They're and one. one. Gut check time on both sides. They really are Colorado. To throw his Jackson. I was like, ah, that's Looking funny. Looking for Bateman, he's got him complete. And he will have a Ravens first down. Yeah, as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and yeah. one. Uh, Find open areas, find soft spots, and set up the linebacker is And now second and four. Well, he's up to 70 overall, baby. Let's go. Somebody graduated out of the 60s. There we go. And Corners are really ass. 93 speed. Throwing. So Jackson. Look at the Seattle Herbs. And in the back, back you know, to Andrews. Andrews. And, and Matt Andrews Jack. And the Ravens first down as he'll take this down. Kicker is Jason Herbs. 74 yard line. 70 overall kicker. 7 for 11 on the year. Very low power. Okay, accuracy. And that's kind of the, the team. I give up the middle to Dallas. Surprise in Charlotte. Team They're making steady try progress. And, I see your face. Trying to get back to clock. their winning ways. Quarterback is Jonas Browning. Well. 72 Here seconds. Here comes second down. Marco Sims. Try more. You might see a little bit of him. And the play goes and, uh, goes nowhere. Losing yardage back, back here. The 40 at the 39. 
on the Robert very Cooper edge of field goal range. It would be 56 yards if they got nothing here on third down. They'll go again with Davis. And he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38. And that timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaking up on the play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. Hill and then that one burns the other side. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was yes, he made it 77 on the line linebacker. Celebrates as and they have taken the lead in so the final minute. Good, uh, Tucker now following the main field goal good, uh, set to kick it away. Linebacker does check to see if this guy was Lou Underwood as well. This is Jakeem Grant. Uh, Jakeem Glenn Grant Young. now to return. And, uh, and no alley to be star found. Freshman the coverage is with Shotta, and he's his dropped at the 18. Get another so one today. now it's Watson and the Browns. Down 17 14. 40 seconds to go. And a four game so winning streak in great danger. And he gets it here right around the chance. And their kicker is Jimmy Patterson. Much better kicker than the other guy. So 95 seconds. Second down and three. Accuracy. So that is. They're going to try it from 45 and miss it by half a flight of field. Yep. Uh, so, let's see Charlotte. So, Charlotte does get the uniform priority. So, he can't see the first so down here up past the 30, but he's brought down, down in bounds. Just green, now, the Browns right. signal for the second of their timeouts. Here's Watson. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter. Of play. Yeah, but a great tackle there. Going to hold it to no gain as yeah. the clock runs. No, 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 no. Let's go. Watson. Uh, into the hands of Cooper, and he slips up close to 45 before being tackled. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five no, seconds not, left. Not One last throw here for yeah, Watson. This for all the marbles. This ball intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and the Ravens are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. Just had game yesterday, so it's well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did they have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how 